now I'm doing, um, you know, Breezy Cabrera is the name I go under for like the stuff that's, you know, you know, melodically uh, involved, guitar playing, singing. So I just do a lot of that. Um, I, do, I still do the Breezy Beat MC thing. I have an album called B-Boy Down. You can visit my website at breezybeatmc.com. Uh, or if you, you're interested in the Breezy Cabrera stuff, that's breezycabrera.info. Um, I've done uh, gospel music as well. I have an album called God is Love. I've done, um, it's kind Can of like... Can you do a TV show jingle? Or a TV show song? Reality TV show? Um, With an artist or something? I was a part of a, recently? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a, a song, me and my wife, I have a, I have a, a group called Elevated Souls with my wife and um, one of the songs we wrote together actually it's based on her writing her, her poetry called play thing was just picked up by an artist called um, uh, Felicia Punzo out of Philadelphia so that's I guess technically my first placement our first placement as songwriters which nowadays that's that's really my goal and, uh, and you know continue performing some of the older stuff and some of the new stuff but I think engineering producing writing new stuff and getting it you know uh, checked out by other artists or and maybe having them you know if they feel it, that it's a good song for them if it works for them that's what my goal is nowadays um, because of the amount of people we have in the movies is there somebody that you want to give credit to in regards to um, like Neil Case and all that stuff you know well Jimmy Starr you know was a, gr was a great engineer and he was there for, you know he, he was the one that kind of I brought the projects to I think I, I remember bringing or turning other artists on to him too so that they could go and get their stuff recorded and done up correctly. I thought that he was a great engineer. Um, you know, shout out to Afro Rican, Derek, you know, Derek was there. I, I did a little tour with Derek, with Houdini, Clay D and Lawan Love back then and he was a part of that. He kind of was like the big brother figure there, you know, with that. He, um, he obviously knew his way around. He knew the ropes <laughs> to performing live and like in other places and as opposed to me, I wasn't there yet. I was just 17 or something, 18, trying to, you know, this was like, it was a big thing, man, you know, for me. Um, tell us a little bit about the Dynamics 2 experience. The Dynamics 2 experience, they approached me because they were recording their album at uh, the same studio that the, la the label I was a part of at the time. Uh, you know, they were recording their album there. Uh, so they saw that I was doing... I was working out of that studio and they said, hey, it would be nice to have Breezy BMC on this. So it just all came together, you know. It's just, hey, you want to be on my record? So yeah, absolutely. So. But it was already an established song. It was absolutely. I, it was already established. I was just special doing guest a MC, doing a remix. He was doing a remix. He had me come on board as the rapper for the remix. And uh, that's what we have today, that one song, with, you know, give the DJ a break featuring Breezy BMC. Forget what year that is, what, 93 or something? 90. 90, So Breezy, what do you have to tell the world out there? Handle your business, man. You know, it's music business. Drop the word music and it's business. Make sure you, you know, you, uh, you signed up with a performing rights, uh, performing rights society, did I say that right? Performing, uh, performing arts society, or like BMI or ASCAP. And, uh, you know, Sorry, I'm stumbling over my words, but that's the real thing. You, you need to sign up as a writer and, and start a publishing company and make sure that your music, you know, just handle music the same way you would any other uh, business affair. You know, you got percentages and you just break things apart and, you know, have contracts, you know, let it be in black and white. And, uh, and even then, stuff is probably going to, you know, be an issue. But you have to start somewhere. You need to have something to go back to. And uh, don't be afraid to... Uh, to tell people what you uh, you know what you want in this world, you know, uh, you're doing music. Don't get uh, caught up in the lights, man, or that uh, you know some girls are gonna like you just because you know uh, that's the only reason you're doing it. You know, I did a ton of free shows, and I didn't really come around to uh, I guess getting a paycheck for any of my music till later. But man, I did plenty of free stuff. So I mean, that's fine and dandy. But once it does come down to um, once again, it's business. Don't just do it. You know, make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. Because uh, at the end of the day, uh, it's a family farm, man. Every song is a family farm. So that's what I got to say.